How's it going, everybody? Check out this awesome finger poke I got in my eye yesterday in training. I was going for um, a takedown. That's when you try to take somebody down. And usually I, I go really pretend like I'm really slow and lazy, and then I just kind of like explode with trying to take my opponent down and uh, he had his thumb and it just boom right in my eye I just saw like a it was crazy so like it's like a, almost like an electric bolt <laughs> and yeah anyway so that's the reason for this um, quick video just uh, I was just having a shower and thinking about wrestling and you know how what an incredible sport it is in order to help you know just mental toughness um, you know the, the, the whole point of wrestling is um, basically the objective is to get your opponent down onto his back or her back and the other person's basically trying to get back up on their feet so it's such a useful uh, form of mental conditioning for life because it's all about how to get back up when something really strong is trying to take you down. So there's good and bad with everything but you know it's an incredible thing. If I have kids someday I will for sure be incorporating some of that into their upbringing because you know it's so important for for kids to to have that, or for every, everybody to like learn how to, you know, not wallow in sadness and depression and defeat and not give up and be able to like get back up and have that. Me it's all mental. It's really, it's not physical. I've been training for five years and it's, it's like they even say it's 90% mental. So now let me get to the point of this video real quick happiness and how does it tie into wrestling? Well, all good wrestlers, mixed martial arts fighters know that if you want to become a great wrestler, you have to wrestle every day. It's the same with if you want to be happy. You have to practice being happy every day. It's not just going to come. You're not just going to like something, you know, the most of us, we expect to like buy happiness or trade like, you know, oh, I've just found a girlfriend or I've just found a boyfriend. Now I'm going to get happiness. Or, um, you know, I just ate some food, so I'm going to be happy. So these are all the, like, kind of the easy ways of getting happiness, buying new clothes. And there's nothing wrong with these things either. Nothing wrong. They're good. Just it's important to be aware that the real long-term happiness, it's like r training to be a wrestler or training to be a fighter, or training to be a musician. Do you think Jimi Hendrix just picked up a guitar and was just like, Poof. so many people have no idea that this guy was basically waking up in the morning, playing his guitar all day long, and then going back to sleep. He was just playing his guitar, eating, and sleeping. It's the same with great wrestlers, they just or fighters, they just eat, train and sleep. It's the same with people who are great at anything. I'm sure you you might have come across this, um, I can't remember what it was, but it was something like 100,000 hours or something like that. Like if you put in 100,000 hours into anything, you will master it. It's the basic truth. And, um, you know, we look at these tremendously successful people and we just, we think, oh man, look, they're just naturally born, talented, you know, na naturally good at music, naturally good. We just don't realize that it really all comes down to the fact that they are so interested, it's like an obsession. They're they're so obsessed with something because they they are so interested in it that they wind up doing it over and over without becoming discouraged. That's the key. That's the key. Without giving up. 
So, how to make this video useful? I'm not just gonna like say what I what we all know. You know, but how do you get over the the giving up feeling? And the key is is to just do it. <laughs> It's going to feel horrible. That giving up feeling is horrible. It's, like, it's just like this deep conditioned. Understand what it is and it might help. It's a deep conditioned instinctual response because you're just not used to it. You're not, not used to pushing through and working through. So it feels uncomfortable and you just don't want to do it. But I guarantee you that if you just keep doing it, punching through, every time you have that feeling, applaud yourself. Reward yourself by saying, great, I'm having this feeling now where I don't want to, I want to give up, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep doing it. Every time you do that, you are reconditioning your mind. Sure, it might be just minor re uh, conditioning, but doing those a little bit, a little bit every day, that's how, it, it's like, pushing a huge snowball. It's hard at first, but it becomes easier every with every time you do it. So, and you know, you can get addicted to this feeling that it's coming easier and easier. And this is why people become obsessed, you know, and become incredible musicians or artists or... Now let's take it back to happiness. So, if you want to be person who's happy or strong or confident, um, whatever your goal is, whatever you want, just remember that it's like anything, it's like wrestling, it's like being a musician, you've got to just do it every day. So if I want to be a happy person, I have to practice being happy every day, you know, smile more, you know, and don't wear the smile from the face. Let the smart smile come from the heart. Uh, try to see more positive in things. You know, D don't focus on the negative. There's always going to be negative things, but there's always going to be positive things too. So if there's only maybe one or two percent positive within something, focus on that. And these are the types of things you you want to just keep doing every day, every day, and then your mental conditioning will change. There's no magic, there's no big mystery, there's no need for a book to be written on it. That's it. Just practice what you want to, to become. And you just have to punch through that uh, feeling of like quitting and not wanting to do it. And, you know, one more thing I'm going to leave you with is like, don't like, a lot of people, what they do is like, okay, now I'm going to try to do this. And then they do a lot of work and then they get burnt out and then they do nothing for three months. So I would say rather than doing that, every day just do very little, you know, like every day just maybe go to the mirror, smile and look at yourself for exactly 60 seconds and then stop or 10 seconds, you know, and just feed it into your life. What it doesn't matter if it takes a year for the change. Like, I don't care. Like I'm... You know, I'm kind of on a trajectory of, I think, that in maybe two or three years, it's going to have the full effect. But every day, I just try to, like, be aware of these things that I'm talking about, and I try to, like, implement them. Right, I'm off now to go into the world, so better hide this eye, otherwise it's going to scare people. Put my Star Wars shades on. Do you see the Darth Vader? It's pretty cool. Um... And yeah, just good luck with, with what you're doing, everybody, and um, focus on the positive. Don't reject the negative. Accept, you know, if something bad happens, don't like be like, oh, this happened, I suck. I suck. No, just be like, oh, okay, that's fine. That's natural. Happens to everyone. Then move on. Focus on the positive. Remember what about the wrestling mentality. If they get pulled down to the floor, they're not going to be like, oh, I've lost. Life sucks. I'm going to, you know... There's no point to live anymore. No, they do their best with whatever they have. If they're on their back, they just focus, they stay calm, and they try to get back up to their feet again. You know, that's all we got to do. All right, sending everybody out there good luck, good love, light, whatever, all that good stuff. All right, talk to you guys soon.